NBA none the wiser. The Canadians just literally on the other side of the wall. He tosses a grenade. Oh, that might be a perfect grenade. It is a perfect grenade. All oh, the timing dropped a, a rifleman ammo bag right as the grenade was in the air. And he's tossing more grenades. He's doing his own form of artillery. Hey guys, Moidog here. And today we've got another episode of Eye in the Sky where we take a look at a game of squad from the top down. And in this one, we're bringing it back to the smaller maps. maps. After the insanely large anvil, playing on Kokan is night and day. And if you weren't aware, this map is actually so small that commanders can't even call in UAVs or airstrikes anymore since the devs realized it was just too powerful. For this round, we have the MEA and their BMP-1 up against the Canadians and their LAV. But you will notice here that they actually have two LAV variants, the LAV-6 with the main 25mm cannon, but also the LAV-3, an infantry support variant with regular machine guns up top. Overall, this is a really fun layer, and this game did not disappoint, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and drop me a comment below with your thoughts on another map, faction, or game mode you like to see in another episode. And don't forget to check out the live streams at twitch.tv slash moidog, where I stream every weekday. The live streams are a lot of fun, so I hope to see you there. But that's it for me. Until next time, peace. Take a look at the map real quick. You got Imam's compound on the southwest, The Nest, uh, the second point for Canada. Tempest Estate is the middle cap. And then you have Market and Depot for MEA, but it looks like we have a full Lodgy about to run headfirst into a Lav 6. Oh, you see him right, moving right to left, just on the other side of the bridge here. This might be bad for the Lav. By bad for the Lav, I mean bad for the Lodgy. Oh, actually, no, it's the, it's the Lav, uh, Lav 3, rather. These guys lucked out. You can see the Lav 3 doesn't have the, the main cannon. It just has a machine gun with an open top machine gun. This Lodgy completely lucked out. And let's see if they have any AT. These guys are good to go. AT. Oh, there is a hat kit. Oh, there's the big boy Lav 6. Lav 6 coming in. Says, all right, let's, let's really show you how it's done. He's going to be opening up with the HE here. I don't know why. <laughs> why we're trying to shoot G3s at Lav, Lav 6s, but here we are. AT. Oh, man. RPG 29. You you heard the the round go off, but men armed it, actually. Lav 6 takes out the Lodgy. Oh, he's going to be a little too close. He's going to be too close. Min arm. Min arm the second time. <laughs> All you can do is laugh at that point. Don't min arm a second time. Don't do it, man. Get, get some distance. Be patient. It's going to still too close. Come on, that's the same distance. All right, two hat kits. Nothing to show for it. And the labs are just going to say, thank you. This is my compound now. Appreciate it very much. If only there was a fantastic anti-tank guide that you could watch at this very moment. I don't know what it'd be called. Something like the complete anti-tank guide for squad. Something like that. Who knows? And as we can see here, we'll turn these on real quick. You got T-Dog and Bentley as the only ones. Oh, we do have... Oh, actually, Hightower in the back corner. Knocks out Whitebeard and Wolf. Good hold by Hightower. I mean, the fob isn't over just yet. Actually, by killing those two, Hightower, as a huge play, able to uh, clear out the hab area for for Bumble, Jedi, and, and T-Dog, who's in there earlier. Actually, not too bad. 
Although the LAVs are here, they need infantry to clear out, and I don't know why the MEA just ran right into the Canadian. Their uniforms look kind of similar, but not that similar. And you have infantry now closing in on the HAB. Pops this up again. You see Jedi and T-Dog right inside. Oh, great shots by Nostalgia. And they trade. T-Dog goes down. But that might have been just enough. Let's open up the map real quick. Oh, the HAB still is overrun. Let's see why. Yeah, because you got Wee Woo and Paraxis on the backside. Almost. If Bumble... Does he see him? Oh, Bumble lays him out with the HK-51. It is not over yet on this FOB. It is not over. One more Canadian left. I don't know why they're not pushing the radio. Oh, they're pushing into the same compound. HK-51 might be in trouble. Oh, they looked at each other. Bumble reacts quicker. The Hab is still overrun. As we are... Oh, Hab isn't overrun. The radio was being dug down. Bumble might have just made up for his hat plays. The radio's going back up. The Canadian goes upstairs. He doesn't know where the radio is. Bumble might have just enough time to pull out his HK. And he should have heard that there is a bad guy right above him. Hey, and Marco does go down. And they respawn Bentley, Azaroto, Hightower. Everybody pops back in. What a huge save. I don't know how much longer they can hold on to this, but this is a, a great last stand. As the Canadians start to filter in, Lav 3, right in the middle of the point. Canadians still trying to funnel in from the south side. Infantry goes down. You can see on the fields. You got a GL popping rounds from the south side. We're going to put on... Our markers just so you can see again how many infantry are still in it a couple canadians dead on the east side i mean they still have 1800 ammo i mean it is not impossible for mea to pop off a couple rpgs but we'll see scottish comma we gotta get out comes in full auto Oh, TK! Oh, no! Scottish comma comes in. Oh, a second TK! They're TKing each other. Oh, my God! A third T! A fourth TK! No! You guys are on the same team! Move the other way. Move the other way. Or in the head. Let me get out. All right. Oh, the hab is... The hab is cleared! Oh, it's over. It's overrun. Incredible. They almost respawned from all the TKs. I don't even know what to say about that one. MEA is still up. You have Mars in the back. I think Mars just TK'd. It's a TK frenzy. You can't even see. There's just smoke. Chaos. And he finally goes down. Let's see. <laughs> even before that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight team kills from both teams. <laughs> all in one half room. Oh, man. Positively identify your targets, guys. <laughs> And Canada will finally over on the FOB out on the east side. Now that that's over, uh, let's play the objective. What if I told you that this wasn't the objective? 
or even close to it. Would you believe that? I believe that. All right, let's play the objective. 245 tickets to 254. 26 kills to 34. Uh, yes, <laughs> please. And I... Ooh, this is a little bit dangerous. You see on the northeast here... I just went over the berm. You have the Lav 6. I believe he's trying to chase the BMP a little bit. Trying to see him. He's right over the edge. Ah, uh, there he is. BMP. You can see he kicking up some smoke as he tries to climb the ridge. Lav 6 actually goes right behind him. They had marked him on the on the map, but he has no idea where he's at. BMP 1, if he gets a Malyutka off... Oh, he's not even looking the right way. Oh, this could be bad news. Hey, they're capturing the BMP now. and the Lav 6 are literally right next to each other. BMP does not have his Malyutka loaded. He just fired off uh, what I believe to be a frag round. Lav 6 might get the jump on him. They see him. Lav6 is going to go to town on this. This is a free kill. They're both missing each other. Lav6 goes to park right next to him. They st Lav6 still doesn't see him? What in the world? The BMP doesn't see him. I what is... You're the right there? BMP is going to mid-arm though. Lav6 just needs to be close. BMP rounds needed. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, that's going to be too bad for the, the BMP one. This is just... Oh, it's almost like just playing with his food. <laughs> I, he's not even... He's like almost missing the shots too. The last six finally getting rounds on the BMP. I don't understand what's... He's actually getting in range of the BMP's gun now. The BMP can shoot if he, if he has depression. What is this fight? They're actually letting the BMP have another shot into it. Oh my god, good shot off with the BMP. The driver went to move. The, the lab six leaves? What in the world? I'm guessing the Lav 6, they only have, I believe, 60 AP rounds, and they missed them all. And so now, the Lav 3 comes in with infantry. And has a BMP that just has the gunner. And they have anti-tank now trying to do what the Lav 6 couldn't. BMP finally on fire. And instead of going down with the ship, the BMP crew dismounts, finally goes. And who would have thought at the start of the round that the LAV-3 would be the one to get the BMP-1 kill? Good use of mechanized infantry, but I don't even know what is happening right now with these vehicles. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is a very proud LAV-3 crew, I tell you what. BMP finally goes down. Now we have some infantry fights. All right. Uh, 238 tickets for MEA. 235 despite losing the BMP-1 and keeping both the uh, the LAVs. Uh, the Canadians are a little bit on the back foot. You can see this uh, MEA right now capturing Tempest Estate. So Nexus, Depot, and Market have all gone to MEA. And now Canada is about to lose uh, their third cap. And would start a ticket bleed. MEA. Trying to withstand this kind of... It's, it's, it's a bit odd of an attack here. This east side. So, MEA lost the fob earlier from the east side. The same group of uh, we, the mechanized infantry that pushed east. They just... Kept on going west, knocked out the BMP, and now they're going to be trying to collapse in on Tempest Estate. We're going to have quite a lot of infantry fighting, so let's go check that out. We're going to take a... Put on some markers so you can kind of see how the situation is. And then also, let me put this on here for you. 
if you see this rectangle box, this rectangle box? I mean, red rectangle. Uh, that is the capture area. So this objective is contested. The blue MEA, red Canada. You can see we have quite a few MEA inside with just a handful of Canadians left. Last Samurai, Pop, and Perry. Pretty much the only ones left. And it should be being capped. Yep, being capped right now by MEA. Even tickets, but we have the... The, the Lab 3 right now is my MVP. Lab 3 moving around, doing exactly what he needs to do. Gets a whole bunch of infantry, dismounts them, and... Oh my god! Lab 3 crew takes a couple of rounds right to the side of the face. And just as I said, he's doing right exactly what he should do. All of the infantry that dismounted just <laughs> go down to MEA. And this Lab 3 might be in a little bit of a tough spot. Pulling up right to the fob, and with so many RPGs, you do not want to be here without infantry support. I'm surprised an RPG hasn't been... Like, they didn't even mark this on the map. I just realized for a second, because there's been so much chaos... You know what? I'm okay with that. Z Zepetto called out something completely incorrect. He said, there's a tank, there's a BMP. I if you know squad, you know he means, okay, one of their IFVs are up there. You know, it's the one of the labs. Hey, this super pop's got infantry pushing I'm going to tell you something right now, though. Uh, up until this second, I feel like I haven't heard any command comms. I haven't heard any any talk on uh, on squad leader chat of, hey, we're pushing here, we got enemies here. I feel like it's been a very, very quiet game. Uh, despite MEA, you know, kind of in the lead right now, it's been super quiet. RPG is coming out. Trying to take a shot on the lav. But we can see this is what was being built earlier. I mean, actually not a bad position. Uh, a couple of the the new towers. Trying to overwatch. You got a mortar fob. And right next to Tempest. Not too bad. But if we turn our icons on again. MEA almost has the point. About 75%. We're having a lot of Canadians storm across. And they have a fob of their own. Oh, wait a second. What is this? We got a sneaky boy. One MEA. <laughs> oh, it comes in with the knife. It runs back into the bush. And nobody even noticed! This goes back in, says, I d How did you die? I don't know how I died. That was it. He goes in for the... No! <laughs> he gets the knife off and then forces the TK. What an MEA hero. <laughs> MEA hero. Good effort. Oh, and in that time, we'll turn this back on again. The west side of Tempest is having a huge push from Canada while the mortars just slam into the fob. Fantastic mortars. Both tubes going in right where the hab is. They're buttoning up the entire MEA team that's trying to spawn in here. You can see they're pretty much getting killed as they spawn in. That's allowing Canada from the southwest to push in. And this is going to start the recap. Uh, maybe one, two, three, four. A couple more MEA need to go down, but Canada is doing really, really well. Canada might actually have the advantage here in just about 30 seconds. If, they, if these mortars can stay up. Good fighting. You can see one last MEA kind of inside as everything falls around him. And just like that, 
Canada has started to recap. Good shots. Electro Wizard on the right side of your screen just goes down. Good shots from Rex. Oh, and they're right next to each other. Rex, Leon, and Great Ghastly. Some close quarters fighting full auto. Speaking of full auto, MG3 hip fire followed up by a full auto himself. Solo goes down. Just infantry trading blows right now. And that's incredible. The mortar fob was able to keep the infantry inside the half for so long. You have Canadians so close that the hab is actually, or was overrun for a split second. Oh. Canada just got out of range. Imia is going to be spawning in in just a second again. This is a, a really contested point. One shot over here. One shot and drunk lizard across the road. They need to push a bit closer and they're going to keep that overrun. Oh, the hab is... Oh, you can see a couple infantry now. Three, four infantry just spawning in. One shot coming in. Goes with the grenade. Not a bad grenade. But MEA had just left the spot. Trying to go for the peak. This is a, a tough spot for him. The Hab is over on. Hab is no longer over on. You can see the three MEA. Uh, MEA. The three Canadians. Sorry to bring up the map real quick, but this is important. You got the rifleman here. You got a rifleman on the back side, and you have the medic on the east side. They need to stay within 20 or sorry, 30 meters of the hab. So that way it stays overrun. You keep seeing they kind of poke and then they fall back. Poke and fall back. And they need to ensure that this hab stays overrun enough for the rest of their team to push in. Hiding in the building they were coming though. MG3 letting them have it. One of the last MEA on the hab. You see one shot right around the corner still. He knows that MG3 is there. It's going to be dangerous if he tries to peek it. Oh, what a shot! Solo with the burst of MG3 fire takes one shot's head right off. And was that enough to clear the hab? That might have been. The hab is clear. Yo, huge play. From the MG3. I don't know. Oh, this is going to be close. Oh, they had a split second to spawn back in and nobody did. As more Canadians coming from the southeast side. Solo doing everything he can to try to keep his hab up. And you can see Great Ghastly actually hopping on the MEA mortars to mortar themselves. You'll love to see it. We have... A lot, a lot, a lot of MEA spawning in on the west side. This is actually interesting. These MEA, they might not want to be pushing the objective just yet. Oh man, these mortars are absolutely destroying the infantry. But the MEA might actually be pushing straight down south. I mean, look at this. You have two giant fobs that have just pushed and built right into each other. And the mortars just slamming into the the base here. And it looks like MEA. Oh, Canadian. Trying to sneak up on the backside. Chubby the Walrus, Dead Meme, Bush, Mongoose, all trying to push into this objective. But you can see, look at all the Bush Wookies here. That's a, a, a half a squad. We're going to have free game on Praxius, Six and Cajun here. Yeah, I'm dying. Nice. 
really close quarters fighting. It's just they're trading. Push it up to a bush, get killed. Push up to a bush, get a kill. Chubby the Walrus finally goes down. Cage it. Uh, it's just it's onesie twosie trades. Uh, it's just carnage. As in the meantime, Canada has resecured Tempest Estate. And you know what? This might be bad for MEA. Uh, MEA. They're going to get stuck in on the Western compound here. And Canada might be able to just keep them forced up in here and push in the market. Uh, 111 tickets to 163. And Canada has managed to get a 50 ticket gain on MEA. I think I just heard another RPG go off and the lab lab six is on fire RPG into the side and it looks like the crew oh super tree doing what he can he's gonna go down with the ship he is cooking off he said I might as well try to get a few off, uh, HE rounds off Lav 6 goes down, finally goes down. That Lav 6 has been doing work. 96 tickets to 143. Now you need to kill a lot more vehicles if you're MEA to try to swing this. You can see there's still a lot of infantry for Canada that is on the point and not focused in this battle. What, what has happened here is that this FOB battle has turned into, this is more important than this. A lot of MEA are going to spawn into what is going to be a very fun slugfest. But they are not going to be pushing the objectives. They're not going to be defending the objective. You can already see one shot. Canada has started to push the south side of market, even though it's just one or two infantry. Radio on C4 Nav is down. Good shot. And the the fob is down. You know what? This is actually this actually might save MEA. The fact that this radio goes down forces MEA to respawn on market. That that's actually huge. If Canada had actually kept this up, then I don't I don't know if we'd have many people spawning in on on market. We'll have to see. Some sneaky infantry on the back side. I eat crayons. Marines are not here, but you got a Marine pushing in right now. Takes it right to the chest. Good shots from one shot. I don't know if one shot realizes what he's about to peek because this is a big wall of pain. Couple Hesco walls. New Hesco tower. Coming back up. Very difficult to get across the road to push this. I mean, this is... You know what? Market is actually decently defended if they have people. You got a couple layers of defense. Main Hescos. You got a bunch of the, the buildings. You have a tow missile. You have an MG. You even have some uh, sandbags and razor wire in the backside. Which means if one set of defenses are breached, you still have another set. I, I, I do like that. 68 tickets for MEA to 127. 147 kills, but 200 deaths. 174 kills and 150 deaths for Canada. Those 50 deaths difference are really hurting MEA right now. Well, Praxis takes a couple shots. Boogeyman and Astron should know that. Oh, they didn't even move. They didn't even acknowledge it. Praxis hip fires. Able to take out one. I eat crayons is still here. Gets up in his little hidey hole. Mr. Metz as well. I mean, it's a handful of Canadians starting to breach. And you just need a few. 
If Praxis is one shot, Turkish Elite and fast. I think they're going the long way around. You can see. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Logi from MEA getting tagged, but that's actually not what is. Is this an MEA hab? I'm trying to see right here. It looks like this is a Canadian hab going up. Oh, this is no good for MEA. I mean, they might not even have enough tickets to last. Yep, 10 tickets does go down because the super fob on the west side of Tempest, the radio does go down eventually. And now you're going to have a huge grind fest in market as a can the Canadian team have gotten a nice attack fob just east of market as well. So south side of market, east side of market. You can just turn this on and look at all the blue that is now on market. That means a huge team wipe on where exactly all these mortars are going off. Th these mortars are insane. It's nonstop mortars. <laughs> We're losing terribly. Yeah, I mean, not entirely wrong. And we're going to have to see. I don't, I honestly don't see a way MEA can come back from this. I mean, 30 tickets, they need to push. I mean, if they push Tip of the State right now, they might be able to do something. But it is not looking pretty good for them. As Canada, now we can start to see moving right to left. They're starting to breach. Mark it. From MEA none the wiser. The Canadians just literally on the other side of the wall. He tosses a grenade. Oh, that might be a perfect grenade. It is a perfect grenade. All the timing dropped a, a rifleman ammo bag right as the grenade was in the air. And he's tossing more grenades. He's doing his own form of artillery. Rifleman ammo bag, rearming grenades. And he might be able to hear the the bandage. Oh, a oh, little too far. I don't know if he sees the marksman literally right there. Oh, he should see him now. Maybe back up, try to take a peek. Now you have, oh, great shots, full auto. As another MEA goes down, as mortars just start to rain down on market, you got HEN smoke. Another grenade. Can he get a third? A little bit far, but might work. It does. Three MEA defenders mopped up with frags as the east side is Canadian. You see plenty of them. We'll turn this on for you guys again. You can see the red circle half sphere. Oh, and just like that, too many give ups. 108 tickets for Canada, zero for MEA. And what a way to go down. 166 kills, but 248 deaths. 222 kills to 172. I mean, MEA just had a little bit too much of the infantry deaths. They just could never recover. Almost had Tempest Estate, but Canada mopping it up, securing the Super Fob, the Mortars MVP, Lavs pulling off some good plays. GG's.